So, Eagle Pose is Tadasana. All poses are Tadasana. You find your feet. You take your kneecaps into your quads. The quads rotate inward, shins rotate outward. And that makes, you can see this nice, like, little platform on the hips. Lower ribs go down and back. Shoulders go up and back. Chin comes out of your chest. That feels like the balloon. This is Tadasana, right? It's the basis of everything. So from here, if we want to go into Eagle. We're going to lean our body weight. I'm leaning my body weight to the left, but I'm going to call that the right because I'm mirroring you. Lean it to the right, and then just find your balance here. And then find a half chair, and we're doing chair pose, but only on one side. And then we're gonna take this other leg and wrap it around, settling the hips in. So the interesting part of this pose is the hips. The interesting part of many poses is the hips. Yeah, and so from here, you can kind of like wiggle your hips and find your balance. It's always interesting. And then I always get mixed up about which arm goes on top. But basically the arm, I mean the leg that's on top, it's the same arm, whoa, that goes underneath. So my left leg is on front, on top. So I'm taking my left arm underneath, wrapping them around. And then eagle arms are kind of ubiquitous. I do eagle arms all the time. This is a wonderful shoulder stretch. Breathe into it. And keep adjusting your hips, keep adjusting your shoulders, and breathe. A nice pose to come into after this one, I find, is either Warrior Three, which is sort of just releasing the body from all of that, or even, even better, Warrior Three with your arms in a cobra. And that's, that's undoing those eagle arms and those eagle legs, it feels nice. Mm. And that was Garudasana, Eagle Pose.